Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my March update. Uh, just gonna discuss a few things here. Um, you guys know that I have not been at home for a while. You know, this and that, left and right, back and forth. You know, taking care of my mom and everything. So, you know, for the update, you know, it's not so bad that maybe I might describe it worse than it really is, but I'm just not happy with the tank right now. And you know, it's family first. Uh, the tank I will deal with now that I'm happy. Anyways, um, I got a new a couple of additions. I maybe have introduced you to the Fisher's Dwarf Angel on my last update. Um, he's not being picked on as much now, um, but. He's swimming a lot more. And as you can see, the other addition is the Coral Beauty. Now, I got this Coral Beauty knowing that I had the Fishers, but my mom gave it to me. And I'm not gonna say no. It was a good heart, and I said, you know what? If it's gonna make her happy, I'll figure it out somehow. And. I don't know if that was a good idea, but like I said, he's getting beaten up. Um, he's losing a good chunk of his back fin. Um, but let's see, guys. Just let's just see. All right, so let's go on with this. Now I am starting to see some changes in terms of my advantage. The changes is growth. I see more and more and more growth out of these landings in this corner that I ever did. Uh, they look beautiful. I'm loving the spread of them. They look really nice. This is the front view. Now this view is to the left side. Now these yellow mellows sometimes creep me out because they look in yellow and some of them look like a greenish tint as you can see. But if you take that yellow and green tint out of them, they look just like a tailor. It freaks me out. I tell you, they freak me out. <laughs> um, this is the right side view in the right glass. And you can see uh, green polyps there. Uh, <clears throat> these uh, others went is that I still don't have a clue what they are. Um, and the famous one single Aptasia that I have in the entire tank. Thank God it's just one. But my pepper shirt just won't get to it. They ignore that one. Um, let's push it onto the glass. I will move it somewhere away from the glass so it won't be that bad. These guys, I'm not sure if they're green, green bay uh, Zoas, but they're looking a little better than the last update. So I'm really happy with that. Uh, these candy canes, they're not doing too bad. They were massively huge. They kind of shrunk a little bit. But I think the hammer coral stung on it to the side. Or the top of that uh, right candy cane. There's either that or it's just dying. One or the other. This blue pavona, as you can see, is uh, encrusting to this rock pretty nicely. It shares this rock with uh, war coral. But um, I'm pretty happy with its growth. It's actually onto the front and in the back, guys. I'm really, really impressed. I have not touched this blue pavona since I got it. Um, the growth is slow, but it's actually pretty good. I'm happy with that. This war coral is, to me, it's just not a war coral. But thank God it's not a war coral because. I mean it is, but it, it's just not violent. I don't see any tentacles or sweepers anywhere at all. In this view, ah, too passive. Um, this meat coral or sirena coral, whatever it's called, big, fluffy as usual. A lot of people don't like it, but I love it. It's a weird beast. I love it. Um, this guy's got me a little worried because he was nice and plump and fluffy and uh, he's uh, getting small on me and I'm not liking that. Now his tentacles are out but eh, he used to be a lot bigger. Now this coral right here, I don't know what you would call it, I don't know what it is. I really don't. Um, but that's a 
frag that I got from a friend of mine during last year's power outage and it looked really bad, had a lot of algae, blah blah blah. I think it was like maybe two heads left and it's growing but I think out of the stunt of me not being here that growth has paralyzed. Now the green summer coral, guys look at these spikes, I mean this guy is growing like I have no clue. The growth on this guy is nice. I mean, you can see on both angles, from the left side and the front, it, it's growing, guys. That white is not bleach. It is actually a sign of growth. And I'm really pleased with that. Very happy with this green summer color. The green hairy Rodactus, which is a mushroom, um, he's gotten big right now. I think from the last update, he hasn't grown too much. Uh, I would like for him to cover more of that rock. Now this is one of my favorite pieces in this tank, this yellow swirl coral. I think it looks beautiful. I don't care what anybody says, it looks beautiful. It's, it's probably like my second favorite piece of this tank. Can, can't deny it. Uh, these candy canes were the leftover from the power outage last year and I only had one head or two heads. And, it's growing back but slowly. I'm not really happy with this growth. Now this guy right here is the mid pavona. And this mid pavona I cannot I cannot it's just it's amazed how much this has grown. It was just a little piece that I bought it. And look at how much is sticking out from where it's positioned. And that frog spawn there is really disappointing me because it does just not grow. It doesn't grow, it just stays that same same size. Uh, the blue Leptastria, as you can see, is kind of reach up upward. I guess that's a good thing, but it doesn't grow. Uh, the pink Zoanthids, oh sorry, the pink Zanians, uh, they actually fluffing up, which to me is a little concerning. Um, Usually that's what I had it for. If something was wrong in the tank, it was kind of a sign. So I gotta keep an eye on that. Uh, green tip hammer seems to be doing good. Uh, that's just simply one head. It hasn't grown, hasn't spread, nothing. That's just one head. The red plating Monty, if you remember the last update, it actually broke on me with the magnet. And it looks like it's curing pretty good. Um, it has grown quite a bit uh, since I got it. Um, these guys keep getting taller. They don't spread, but they get taller. Which is kind of interesting. Now to the bad part, guys. This was my Acans. I lost them due to uh, neglect for not being here. But uh, one of the Acan actually lost itself from it's plug and I found it here actually I found it on the other side of the tank I guess it just uh, got blown off by the current um, it's not doing too bad but it, it's definitely not looking how it used to uh, just gotta keep an eye on it let's see if there's any improvements uh, these green polyps uh, they're also another sign of dying off on me. Look at how much less they are in that left side of the corner. Um, the green neon par uh, cabbage. I don't know if it's looking good. If it's looking bad. Can't tell you too much. The pink postal opora to me is looking horrible. Um, don't know what to say about that. I, I'm not happy with it. I just hope I don't lose it though. Um, the Kenya tree, which is my most hated coral ever. But if it's in my tank, I don't want it to die either. It looks horrible, guys. I mean, look, look at this thing. It looks miserable. It looks, it looks like it's wanting to give up. But if it's not, it's going to want to spread. I don't want it to spread because they spread like wildfire. But it just looks miserably, miserably. It's just bad. It looks terrible. Um, this is the same rock that shares the Kenya tree and 
Look how much GSP I have lost, guys. If you guys think their GSPs do not die, you're wrong. With a little bit of neglect, they can easily, they can go bye bye. And uh, you know, they're one of my favorites. You know, they're easy to take care of and this and that. But, but now they just they're not doing it. They're not surviving. The purple plume is also one of my favorites in this tank. And as you can see to the left, there's very few polyps extended. To the right, it's actually getting to the bone and losing flesh. So that's a big concern. I don't want to lose this guy because he's, a, he's, he's one of my favorites since I got him. If you uh, would have seen my uh, Tyler Gardens review. Uh, this was an actual new discovery. This is a Kenya. No, sorry, my bad. It's a candy cane. Just found it. And that guy right there is part of the devil's hand. I found it there by itself. And apparently it unattached itself from its host. And this guy is looking very miserable too. If you looked at my last video, he looked happy. I was happy, very plump. His polyps uh, was extended. And right now he's just... Ah, God, I don't know. Um, I discovered from last day update to this update that I'm actually getting more coralline algae and it's actually blue and it's actually green. I mean, sorry, purple and green. And I'm getting some red on the overflow up there too. So, could it be good? Could it be bad? I don't know. I kind of like coralline algae, but I kind of don't. To me, it consumes uh, more calcium than the that I should be providing for the rest of my calls. Uh, the fish, they're doing all right, I guess. Uh, they're all alive, they're doing their thing, their behavior, their tutorial. Um, that is the biggest asshole in my tank. I can't stand them, I wish I could get them out, but I cannot. No matter what I do, he hides first. It's about turning out the tank before I actually get them out. Uh, that's pretty much the Coral Beauty's hiding spot so far. Uh, the Tang, he's the only one that does not get bullied. He doesn't get touched. Uh, I don't know if it's because he's a Tang or he just he's not threatened by nobody, even uh, to the Black Damsel, Two Strike Damsel. Um, other than that, guys, uh, I put back the T5, I kind of fixed it. Um, and I always like the T5s more than the LEDs, but I put the T5 last night. So let's see what happens if I can bring it back with this lady. All right, guys, this is the next update. Uh, we'll see what happens next. All right, guys, you take care. Peace.